This is our third, third one since Monday. Clients all the way from across the pond, as we like to say. Fuck you, bro. Oh shit, how you So this is a green pattern on the oyster. Pew, 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 pew. Dark green box, guys. Take a guess. A sold order. Uh, we've got literally two days to get the works done. Deassemble the watch, polish it, lay the solder, refinish, restore it back to new, and we're gonna get the deal ready over the line in two days. So I am currently shipping up two watches that are going out through web orders. I've got an OP 41mm green and our bread and butter 26mm champagne ladies. They are both going out today and I have got two repairs for customers to come and collect. Um, just the one where the um, shoulders where they've been done set was just a little bit too sharp. So we fixed them for the customer and we've just fixed the hands on this customer's watch too. This is our third, third one since Monday. We can get them so if you are interested and you're after a specific one, let me know and we will find it for you. First one? Yeah, it is. Yeah. I had one last year out of Preston's, but I just sold it to make a drink, to be honest with you. Yeah? Yeah. Obviously, I'll, I'll adjust the bracelet for it to fit you how you like. Mm. No. Well, within the last two years, I'd say consistently. Are we talking consistency or are we talking units? Because consistently, I'd say Yacht Masters have. Units wise, GMTs have. But then GMTs will have peaks and troughs from what we've seen. Batmans, the Pepsis, the Sprites, the Bruce Waynes, the old references, so the discontinued black kit seals, the discontinued two-tones. But yeah, they have, their, they have their moments, they do sell, but I'd say the Yacht Masters kind of keep it consistent. So as you can see, we've had a fresh delivery of new hats. We have got um, the merch slowly but surely coming back. We've got the watch pouches now, so yeah, we've got the hats. They do come free of every purchase, so um, if you are thinking of buying that watch, buy it so that you can just get a hat. Just doing some tourist stuff there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do you guys own any watches yourselves or? Uh, I have a few, yeah. Nice. Rolex Rolexes or? One uh, Rolex, just the. Um, I don't think just. <coughs> for the for, years. Oh, 30, 36 more size then, yeah? Sorry? Is it a 36 mil size? Yes. Yeah, yeah, so I've got a few. Yes. A few of those over there. I've had it for 40 years. I've got the Speedmaster. I've got a nice. Tudor as well. Oh, lovely. Tudor's really, really coming in at the minute. Yeah, we have some clients all the way from across the pond, as we like to say. All the way from Canada, just having a little look. And yeah, having a little look, maybe you want potentially a sports model. So let's see. A non-date sub, which is a 2018. That one is 8,500. We have a 2022, just 41 mil, the sub date. This one is 11,000. And then we have a GMT discontinued now, full black kit, stainless steel one. This one is just under 10, it's 9,995. And then you've got the Batman, Sprite as they call it, the Pepsi. These ones all I'd say start from 12,000 for a Batman. They go all the way up to say 16,500 on the Sprite. Pepsi on Noyster I've got available for 18,000, 21. And then the, the Jubilee one as well, which is 2018. Different range of, of prices. What was this, this one again? It's 11,000. So 2022. 2023. 2022, this one. Yeah. 41 mil. And this is 2018, you say? 2018. Yeah. Yeah. A bubble. And uh, as far as lengths go, it depends. I mean, the way we buy them, we just kind of buy them off people's wrists. So if, if there's a link or two short, it doesn't really matter to us, especially a steel link. They're not too 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 expensive to buy. So if you didn't need an extra link, I could get you a link. It's not a problem. Yeah. Then you've also got the new, that's the new sort of Starbucks, what they call it, Kermit. So the actual bezel itself is enamel. Oh, I see. Yeah. It's weird. And this is uh, and that's the ceramic, yeah. So they basically re-released. That, that's actually a 2024 model. What's the difference between this and that? The one that so I that's, the, that's the discontinued model. So that's like bigger. Yeah, so this, this is the pre-ceramic one. So this one was discontinued around 2010. Yeah. These ones, these ones I sell, that's a 2024 model. That's 13.5. 30. Fuck you, Oh, oh shit, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's clean, it's gleaming, isn't it? Every so often, like once every like 18 months, two years, I'd say get it all freshened up. And let some professional like H polish it. Well, I'd be for fuck. Mm, no, no, I won't let you. 
No. Just get your wear out of it. You don't. A watch don't need that many polishes in its lifetime. No. You said what? Talk to him. Yeah, I'll tell you so. If if necessary, if necessary. But you can see how fresh it looks now. So any grazes or marks will come out because you've got the rose going from the center. It's softer anyway, so it's good. Yeah. Yeah. H. Good job, mate. Good job. Very happy customer. And it's nice to see. It looks brand new, spanking. Yeah, it's beautiful. So this is the green button on the Oyster. You're going to need a link in now, so I'll move it down on the clasp for you. So this one, I'll, I'll move it down on the clasp for you. And you sit there and it'll look nice. Don't look. How much is this one then? So the blue is your I could do for 9395 today. Do you pull both of them off? The green and the blue. Gentleman and his son come into our North London branch with a Cartier that was the kid's dad's. The dad wanted to pass it down to the kids, so he wanted to get it polished, he wanted to get a few links in it, a new battery, stuff like that. They rang us up yesterday asking if they can come down and find out a couple of watches. I and mean, then when he was in, he said he wanted to part X, the one that his dad gave him. We're sort of after not talking him out of it, but just telling him, look, keep hold of it, your dad's give it to you. And he's put his name down for two watches, so hopefully he gets accepted. One of them is a chocolate they just pattern, and the other one was a blue Roman numeral. Um, Blue as all right. so hopefully they get accepted and they can both walk away with two lovely watches for over a sign combo. 324, brand new Mark II sub. Box, stickered, block. Sub date? Yeah, date. The black one, still. Black one, yeah, yeah. Just picked up from AV. Yeah. What would you give for it? We'd be a little bit over retail, wouldn't be much, probably. We've got, so I've got 2023 there, we've got 2024 yeah. armor around the corner, so. Yeah. We'd probably go low just because we've got a few. 12 grand on the end, end market, but... I'm not too good if I can get to it. Yeah, so we've got it. Well, we've got the... Well, I went up for 11995. Yeah. So... Yeah, brand new shit. How much would you ID you want for a pin two and on it, really? 10 to so yeah. make it... You make a monkey on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's fully stickered. But not not been out of the box. Okay. But being grouped with you, it's, it's all paid for. I sit in the safe. The yeah, but they'll probably take the stickers off a bit though. No, they're not, they're not, they're not. Yeah, they're always buying all that, I always keep the stickers on. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, yeah. that's all right. Yeah, and I don't keep the cards or anything, I've bought quite a few offers. Okay. Yeah. How's it going, mate? Uh, I've just been, uh, he's got a customer come into the shop, he's got a, he's about to pick it up, so it'd be dated like today or tomorrow or something. Uh, sub date still. Retails at like 96.50, I said we've got a couple of, uh, he wants 10 to nothing at all, so all right, no worries. Cheers, mate, tough bro. Yeah, they've got that one coming in as well. Yeah. So I think ten to I think it's achievable. Yeah. It's like easily achievable to be honest, because it is a twelve grand one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyone that like if I haven't got one in stock, I'd yeah. definitely take it at ten to I think it's fair. Yeah. Um what, what would be your but it would happen. No, they just simply don't want it. But so we've got a few, well, yeah. when you've got three or four in stock, yeah, yeah, yeah. that means that I could, yeah. then it's not a date just 36 for five grand that I've yeah, seen every day. Yeah. It's, yeah. I might have that for six months. Yeah, and then yeah. it's like, or I yeah. could trade it out, but then if I could trade it out, I'll, it's about 10 yeah, 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 yeah. How's it going? So, yeah, a customer just come in. He's literally just getting from the AD or got from the AD. Uh, he's paid for it all, black sub, date. One of my favorite watches uh we've got two or three already at the company he was asking fair money for it but if you've got three what three of the same watches already you haven't sold one recently it's not like it's a massively hot watch then we do sell them but what do you want to fall for even if it is fair money you just tie up money where we could buy something that we know we're going to sell before we sell that so i told him mate fair offer fair like if you what you're asking is fair it's in a few places locally maybe he could pop into and try but uh we can't buy everything, and if you've got three of the same watch, and it's not a watch that you sell every week, why buy a fourth one? It's not like, say, the champagne ladies that we sell so many of. I'd rather buy another two of them, and I know I'll sell them before I sell that other sub. So you've just got to weigh up your options sometimes, unless it's an absolute steal where you know you can just flip it into the trade. But he was asking sort of fair market value for it. But I said we can't buy everything. In. Dark green box, guys. Take a guess. Don't know how we're going to play that game because you should know. Oh, yes. Chocolate Rolex Skydollar on a leather band. Complete with box of papers. This watch will be photographed and uploaded to our website shortly or Instagram, whichever is quickest. Drop a comment, guys. Are you a fan of this chocolate Rolex Skydollar? I don't know why I delayed so much of breathing. Chocolate. It. The shoe fits, they say. Joyce, I think we avoided them for years because 
for some reason people thought they was like overvalued and now I think they're in like just look at them two there that's probably more a bit of a daily sporty activity watch whereas that's probably a little bit classier maybe like a shirt sort of attire but great looking watches for sensible money on the market which would you pick out of them two guys if you would a sold order uh, we've got literally two days to get the works done deassemble the watch polish it laser solder refinish restore it back to new and we're gonna get the deal ready over the line in two days we're gonna pull, pull a few strings work our magic get the job done and get the deal over the line it's only around the corner from here to be fair we had we had the shop in north london that we took over another jewelers yeah so we had to sort of stay in there to pay off the stock and that but now we've done that this is not just any yacht. This is the 37 mil. Perfect for the ladies. Boxing papers. We have a lady here who is very interested in this watch. However, she is yet to prove herself. Get my phone back. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely watch. We have now the matching his and hers. Perfect. That's what you are, Def. <laughs> Chocolate. So, we have got two of my favorite Rolexes in currently. This has never happened before. Maybe the boys know it was my three year anniversary at Troz. No, I didn't have to, sir. Three years just gone was my three year anniversary. So, yeah, we've got a road rubber yacht and we've got the yacht master in the 37 mil. One of the really nice watches. Comment below what your personal favourite is. I actually think mine's this one. Yeah. I've, um, I'm a changed woman. So we've had a chocolate yacht master in our care, guys. It needed restoring. So there's two differences between a restoration and a refurb. A refurb just cleans over the pre-existing watch itself. If there's metal or material missing from the cases, watch, bezel, etc., any sort of part of the watch, it will need to be restored, which would mean that we'd have to add metal and actually refinish it and make sure that we keep the integrity of the shape. This is a very intensive work as you can see i'll briefly run you through how it is it does sound simple but there are a lot of things in the process that can actually go wrong something as simple as actually taking a bezel apart because the bezel actually has three gaskets that keep it down you've got the steel gasket which is literally a steel sheet of ring metal ring uh you've got the rubber gasket and you actually got a metal gasket that looks like a metal string that has three nodes around it they're equally distant and they actually, what you hear in the bezel when it clicks is what causes it to click. So there's three nodes and those, that's what basically clips, causes the bezel to click. Um, these, if you don't put them in the right order or right way, take them off the right way, they can be damaged, i.e. you have to be extra careful, take your time. This is why stuff like this, when we actually take on the works, we give an extended time frame and always surprise our customers with a shorter time frame. Uh, because things can go wrong, we do like to take our time. So if you know watch needs a lot of work, be patient with it guys. Trust me, waiting an extra week does help and it's worth the wait. So the watch was actually dropped. It dropped in such a way that uh, one side of the lugs, which is basically the shoulders of the case, was heavily damaged. It was literally scraped across the lug. So I was saying that's the shoulder, it's across it. And there's a couple other spots which were scraped as well, which were on the lower side of the same side of the case, i.e. the crown side. So we have to, in instances like this, we have to remove the watch completely, make sure that everything is clean, not contaminated, because when you are building metal upon metal, you have to make sure that the spot is immaculate. Otherwise, it won't hold well and you'll see sooner or later that place will get damaged again or the metal will fall out. So we've done the solder. Now it needs to be reshaped, refinished and assembled. Obviously cleaned before assembled, um, which will take up to two, three days, um, which can take a while because obviously we take, do a meticulous job and we'll make sure that every crevice is clean. So guys, yeah, As you remember before, we were on a tight schedule to actually get this over the line. Customers coming tomorrow, we actually got it done the day before, so I'm over the moon. And we'll see what his reaction is tomorrow. So that's where the... That's where the Grand Canyon was. Guys, comment, comment below. Tell me if you can see it. 